everyone, I'm Ashley. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Reselling Farming Mom. It's been a hot minute since I've done a what sold video, so I have quite a few items I'm shipping out tonight. So I'm going to show you what I've got. Let's get to it. All right, so first up, um, these are very much small sales this today. I'm just gonna be very upfront and honest. So no huge major bolos, but a couple of items to look out for maybe, I don't know. First up, I have a Disney coloring book. Oh, that light is like super reflective. You see my new ring light, guys? So this is a Thomas Kincaid coloring book, Disney, um, unused, but it's really cool. I picked it up, look at that. I picked it up at the Goodwill. I think I paid a dollar for it. Um, I sold it for $6 today. Not a huge flip, but still a flip. I'm gonna do everything that's on this side. So another, this is a large item. This is one of my larger items. I have a new kids on the block, a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. It is not new, but I will tell you my funny about this. I think I picked this up at a thrift store for $2 maybe. Um, I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes. I'm getting older. I, I wake up in the middle of the night. And for some reason, I feel the need to check my sold comps. And I checked my sold comps in the middle of the night. And I saw that this puzzle had sold. But the first word in the description that had sold was new. And I'm like, oh no. Because sometimes I use similar sold comps to list items. I Like many resellers do. And I saw that the first word was new. And I'm like, oh no, I don't think that puzzle was new. What am I going to do? Do I message the seller? Do I just refund them? What do I do? I was freaking out, but I went back to sleep and I woke up the next morning and it was still on my mind and I opened it up and I read it. It was a new kids on the block puzzle. That's why the first word was new because they are new kids on the block. So that was okay for the first word to be new because they're the new kids on the block. So anyways, two or three dollars in from a thrift store, a local thrift store, not the Goodwill by the way. And I sold it for $19.95. I, it was not a fast seller. I will tell you that right now. I actually had to virtually dig it off my shelf because I had buried it because I wasn't sure if it was ever going to sell. But it did for asking price, so. That's pretty awesome. So new kids on the block puzzles don't have to be new to sell in case anybody was wondering. Next, I have a couple of cassette tapes. First up is Soul Asylum Runaway. Um, I picked up two bins of cassette tapes for like 10 bucks uh, earlier this summer. It was actually the garage sale buyout the same garage sale before we bought them out, I picked up all their cassette tapes. I'm less than a quarter in on it. I didn't realize that most of the cassettes in the bins I was buying were singles, like cassette singles. Apparently they were a thing. For my time, you bought cassettes that were just one song that apparently people listen to over and over and over and over again. Who would have known? So Soul Asylum cassette single sold I'm less than a quarter in, sold for $1.90. Not a huge sale, but it still is a sale. I have another cassette tape. This was not from that buyout. I got a box of cassette tapes from a friend of ours for $3. So again, about a quarter in maybe, if that. This is Dick Clark, 20 Years of Rock and Roll from 1973. It is missing its, you know, cover, but it's as pictured in the listing because um, this is all you could see in the listing. So less than a quarter and this one sold for $4 though. So not a bad flip on a cassette tape, especially since I'm not making tons of money on these cassette tapes, but they're easy to list, they're easy to store, and they're so easy to ship. I mean, padded mailer, 
and you're done. So, and I recently got a label printer, so that's even faster too. I'm not handwriting my labels anymore, and I'm in and out of the post office a hundred times faster than I was before. It is a life changer. If you haven't got one, I so recommend it. So, next up, I can't have a what sold video without selling some Corel, right? So, these are not Corel plates though. I have, these are Corel Twilight Grove. You can see the pattern. Um, coffee cups. See, they're marked. They're the Corel Coordinates Porcelain. These are not stoneware, but the porcelain Corel mugs. I'll show you. I have four of them. No super intense coffee stains on the inside. But the porcelain mugs, the patterned ones, I it's hit and miss. I would look the patterns up before you pick them up. Um, I have some, I don't know what the pattern name is off the top of my head, but the white ones with just the black circles, I've been sitting on those for a hot minute. So I would not recommend picking those Corel mugs up, but a lot of the Corel porcelain mugs I have done quite well with. So just a heads up. I think there's some with trees. Those were a good quick flip too. And then I have a strange item. So these are new old stock baby Mickey and Minnie napkins. There are 16 three ply napkins in here. Um, super light. They were free to me out of grandma's basement. I found them and I was just like, hey, I have these. Nobody's gonna use them. So I sold them for $5 on eBay. Who would have thought? And then I have two more sales. My dad went to an auction on Saturday and picked up some video games for his house. There were Wii games and Xbox games. I do not sell a lot of video games. I do not know anything about video games, but he gave me a whole stack of video games, which I offered to buy off of him and he just gave them to me. So I went through and listed them last night. Xbox 360 games are hit and miss on what sells low and what sells high. I would recommend if you are buying them to resell just to look them up if you are buying them individually. But this one, I would highly recommend picking up if you see it out and about. This is, I would say this one is a bolo. Um, this is Blitz, the league. I was, it sold overnight for $26.90. I probably could have asked more for it had I wanted to get more out of it, but I was happy with the recommended $26.90 that I sold it for. Um, if you look this video game up, it has a super high sell-through rate. Um, what is listed versus what is selling, It's they're, they're consistently selling on eBay. I don't know why. I don't know what is so special about this video game, but it is. So free to me, sold for $26.90. Um, I was going to tell you something else about this video game, video game, but I can't remember what it was. So you want to see my last item? Yes. Okay. It is, well, it's four in one, um, a set of four aluminum cake pans. They are Miro. I'll show you the back of this one. They're Miro cake pans. So with this sale, I've sold this set before. I got more, I've sold, I don't remember the first set I sold, how much I sold it for, but I know I did not sell it for this much. I paid a dollar for these at a local garage sale. They were new in the box, but the box was not nice at all. So I chunked the box. I didn't even put it in the listing or in keep it even. I sold these for $18. My recommendation is when you're looking to list things, look at how other people are taking their pictures. I do not have a photo booth. I do not have a light diffuser. I do have a small, I have, I 
got a new ring light for my videos, but I have a smaller ring light that I use to like spotlight my pictures that I use for my listings on eBay, but I do not have any fancy setup. Y'all met Susie. Her name is Susie now, by the way. You guys met Ooh, Susie. Susie. The other day, my model, I have Jenna, my dress model. I take pictures of my clothes on the deck on sunny days on a card table. You do not need a fancy setup to list pictures or list, take pictures for your listings on eBay. But I do recommend look at other people's pictures. I look at how they're photographing things and I try to spice it up a little bit. So for instance, these, I think my first listing, I took the picture like this of the four pants, but my listing for these, this set, I, can I have a hand? Can you hold these? I looked at the other sold comps for these and people were taking pictures of them all magically stacked like this. Now, isn't that a lot nicer and cooler to look at than the other way? So I'm just throwing that out there. If anybody else like me, I have creative spells, but I'm not good sometimes with thinking of different ways like glasses I've started stacking them so just a way to get more in that first picture because I think that that first picture is what's drawing people in so I don't know just my helpful words for tonight um but that is all I have going out tonight like I said not huge sales but they are still consistent sales that keep my eBay store afloat. So with that, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.